If you've been thinking about trying out either fresh and lean or factor pre-made meals, uh, then maybe this video will be helpful for you. Um, so I'm coming to the end of my second week uh, trying out fresh and lean and my first week uh, using factor. And I've kind of come to some conclusions. I am discontinuing using fresh and lean and I'm gonna continue using factor for a bit. Um, and so let me tell you kind of my thoughts on these two meals because uh, they seem to be two of the, the most popular pre-made meal plans. So they both function pretty much the same way. You put in an order, um, you have to put in your order like a week and a half uh, ahead of the product arrival. Um, they both come packaged in large insulated boxes with a lot of, um, you know, with a lot of frozen gel packs in them to keep them fresh. Um, and then you can basically just take them, microwave them and eat them um, without having to make a meal. So they're just, you know, prepaid meal plans. Um, I am using uh, both the, the protein heavy versions of these meal plans. So these are the ones that are tilted towards a bit more um, calories and, uh, you know, higher protein content. So uh, not, not necessarily doing low carb or anything, but one big difference that I noticed between Factor and Fresh and Lean, Fresh and Lean does have a bit more um, as far as options for food preferences. They'll allow you to highlight, you know, up to three different ingredients that you don't want. So like you don't want uh, things like dairy or beans or, you know, stuff like that. Um, they will let you exclude that. They also have, you know, keto focus plans, um, Whole30 um, and different specialty diets. And Factor does some of that. They'll do uh, keto and stuff like that. But uh, Fresh and Lean does have a bit more variety when it comes to the different, you know, meal plans, whether you want paleo or, you know, something like that. The next thing that uh, I noticed, because I did start off doing Fresh and Lean, um, it tends to have lower salt content than Factor meals. And so I thought maybe, hey, you know, cut out some sodium, that'll be good. Um, but then once I started eating them, I realized that they basically just don't salt their food. Um, it is lower sodium, but I ended up having to add salt anyway. Whereas with the Factor meals, I ended up not really having to add anything. Um, so I wouldn't say that fresh and lean meals were unseasoned, um, but they didn't have enough salt for my taste. And you can even see on the label, it says season with salt and pepper to taste because they really, really don't have much. As far as the packaging, they do a little bit of a different style. So Factor has a sleeve and then everything uh, has kind of a, you know, flat plastic seal on these uh, plastic containers. Fresh and lean is more of a vacuum packed. So all of their dishes um, are kind of like this. Factor has some dishes that are like single compartment, some that are dual compartment. Um, I've had some meals that have like little uh, sauce containers and stuff in them. Uh, so that is one big difference. Um, overall, I would say that the fresh and lean packaging is better, um, although there's some trade-offs here. Uh, my one problem with the factor stuff, as you can see on this lid, I had one of them that the, the edge had kind of popped up a little um, and it had come loose and some juice had spilled on one of the other meals. Um, on the other hand, after you're done cooking these factor meals, it's a lot easier to get the plastic off. Uh, the fresh and lean, I basically have to cut the plastic off because you cannot peel it away from the, the dish. So. Um, again, there are some trade-offs there. The Fresh and Lean is packed very, you know, sealed very tight and it's not going to leak. Uh, but the Factor, it's easier to get off. So, you know, it's kind of, eh, it's not perfect either way. I would prefer the Factor for its ease of getting it off um, as long as I don't encounter too many leaks. Now, if I start encountering a lot of leaks, well, then I guess maybe I would prefer something like this. But uh, the Factor is a little easier to deal with because... You can just uh, poke holes in this with a fork um, to let steam out before you cook it. Whereas this, you can do that, but uh, because it's so tight, it's just a little tougher. Again, not a big deal, but um, definitely harder to get off. Some of the other things that I've noticed and what it really came down to of why I'm kind of switching to factor is let's look at the portion size. So I'm using the protein plus 
plan from Fresh and Lean, and I'll show you their website. Um, it advertises 490 calories on average. Now, I've got two meals left, so let me show you. This one is 410 calories. This one is 340. And this turned out to be the real problem. Um, whenever I first got my box, I, I picked these things up and I was like, man, they feel a little light. And, you know, this is where I made a mistake because it says that these average 490 calories. But if you go look at the actual meals on their plans, almost none of them are 490 calories. Now, whenever I made my selections, the calories for each meal is displayed. I just didn't pay attention. Um, I trusted the advertising saying it was 490 calories. They're not. Um, this Protein Plus plan, after two weeks, I have only had maybe one or two meals out of 10 that even were 490 calories. Almost all of them are way, way less than 490 calories. All right, so here we are on the Fresh and Lean website. And just to show you, this is their current, you know, March 6th through March 10th uh, meal lineup. So for the, and by the way, this is for the Protein Plus uh, plan. And as you look through these meals and they have um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different options for dinners. Now you can get breakfast too, but I, I'm not worried about that because I don't do that. Um, and as you look through these, um, you'll see 460 calories, 440 calories, 410 calories, 430 calories. So we go through 440, 450, 380, 420, 430, and 430, which means not one of these 10 options even matches their average macro advertisement. As a matter of fact, of these 10 items, the average calorie content that they are saying themselves that these contain is about 429 calories, which is, you know, 60 calories off. And they may not, you know, seem that much, but I mean, that's like 12% less than what you think whenever you sign up for this plan. They just, the, the meals that they offer, they're not matching up. Now, here we are on Factor's website, and I'm not going to go through this in detail, but just to give you an illustration, as I click on some of these, uh, 600 calories, 610 calories, 640, 810, 600. So if you look in their fact under the uh, nutrition and ingredients, you can actually click how many calories are in one meal, and they say they go from 350 to 900, and they average about 600 calories Per meal. Now, there's always variation, but I've found that they really do have a pretty good selection of meals in that six to 700 calorie range. Now, the factor, this is my last meal. Now, the factor stuff is 600 to 700 calories, and it's been pretty consistent that that's what the meals actually are in the plan. But now let's take it another step because just because they say that a meal has a certain calorie amount doesn't mean it actually does. And let me show you because this is where I really got pissed off. So this factor meal, um, again, it says 620 calories for 323 grams. That is one tray. Well, let's weigh it. All right, so here's a scale. Get teared out. There you go. Uh, 351 grams, 323. Um, so yeah, it seems to be matching that. Okay, but now let's look at fresh and lean. Uh, 410 calories for 378 grams. That's 387. So that one's, yeah, it's fine. Um, this one says 340 calories for 332 grams. All right, 357. So at first blush, it looks like all of these are fine. Um, now, I will say I had some of my fresh and lean meals weigh 20 to 30 grams underweight. And now, if you've been paying attention, notice I'm weighing them in the packaging. This packaging, believe it or not, weighs like 30 grams. So whenever this thing says that it should you know, contain 332 grams worth of food, um, no, it doesn't. 
um, it actually contains a little less. So this one too, it's supposed to contain 378 grams. Well, again, once you take off 30 grams of the packaging, it's like 20 grams underweight. Now, I don't have many more because as I was eating these things, I weighed them. I had some of these that were, again, weighing 20 or 30 grams underweight, including the packaging. Now, if you start you know, adding that up, you might be missing 20% of, of the food. And on average, what I found is that the fresh and lean meals, number one, um, do not actually meet the 490 calorie advertisement, the actual meal labels themselves. Number two, on average, they don't weigh what they claim they weigh. So you're not even getting the full calories that are on the package. All right, so I mentioned the packaging weight. Um, I ate one of these and just thought I'd show you kind of what I was talking about where I said, you know, packaging weight, roughly 25 to 30 grams. Um, so whenever you see those weights, you know, these things do lose, you know, quite a bit just for packaging. You know, this thing nominally, let's see, what is the, this was the one that was supposed to weigh 332 grams. And so, I mean, a little less than 10% uh, nominal weight in packaging. Now, you know, you start figuring out that, you know, this thing weighed like, I don't know, maybe 350, then you remove that. And this is where I said, you know, they, they routinely do not contain uh, the amount of food that they say they do on the label. Now, here I'm looking at some tables um, from the National Institute of Standards and Testing. Um, this is from also the USDA regulations. And so I'm going to go look at uh, one of these tables, tables 2-5. This is maximum allowable variations for packages labeled by weight. Um, and so these apply to food products um, outside of meat and poultry. So packaged food products. If you go to this table, it actually says, hey, by the labeled quantity, what is the maximum allowable variation? Now, looking at packaged food anywhere from 263 to like 500 grams, you'll see that the maximum allowed variation is less than 20 grams, which means whatever they're telling you it is, if it's below 20 grams, uh, legally, that that's a problem. And so you know, that's one thing just to keep in mind is there are some regulations about this stuff. And some of the things that I have seen um, have been pushing the bounds of really, you know, what you expect legally whenever you buy prepackaged food. Now, with the factor meals, um, you encounter pretty consistent, I would say, weight. It, it you know, you still get variation. Variation is normal. OK, so I'm not saying that everything should weigh exactly the right weight. Um, but this one, you know, 323, it's weighs, you know, 351. Again, you've got 25, 30 grams worth of packaging. It's pretty much fair. Um, so with the factor, at least you do get what they tell you you're going to get. Um, so that was like my biggest gripe with fresh and lean is number one, again, it, they don't actually give you the option to select meals that give you the averaged, um, calorie content. Number two, their meals are light. They don't actually give you the food that you're paying for. Um, as far as cost, the cost is pretty similar. Um, I think Factor initially looks a little cheaper, but you have to pay for shipping. Fresh and Lean looks more expensive, but you don't pay for shipping. So I would say cost is mostly a push um, on these. Now, it, I'm only doing uh, like five meals a week with the Fresh and Lean and six with the Factor. These are kind of the, the smallest orders that you can do. And cost is pretty comparable. So the last thing I'll say as far as food quality, um, Fresh and Lean does seem to be slightly higher quality on the ingredients. You know, looking at it, just overall, they seem to use just ever so slightly better ingredients. It's not a huge deal. I would still say Factor is pretty good. Um, but again, Fresh and Lean, I would give them the nod as far as having slightly higher quality. And so that's kind of, you know, when I review the decision I made, I, I went with Fresh and Lean because they have good variety of meal plan types. Um, I thought, you know, about 500 calories a meal would probably be OK for a light meal. Um, the ingredient quality looked good. All the packaging looked good. It looked like a good deal. But 
as it turns out, I'm not getting my 490 calories a meal. Honestly, on average, uh, you might be lucky to be getting 400. I mean, th honestly, these things are not enough food for me to be a meal. It seems like they're made with the expectation that people are going to snack really, really heavy. Now, I will also say this Protein Plus plan, that 490 calories, this is the heaviest meal plan they offer. Everything else was less than this. So I don't know how people are getting by um, using these as meals. These are like two thirds of a meal. Um, whereas the factor actually, you know, some of these things are over 700 calories and they are more of a standard meal portion size. Um, so for me, I'm going to stick with factor overall for now and we'll see what happens. I've heard of some people having some bad experiences. Um, I'm only through my first box, so I haven't had too bad of an experience yet. We'll see how that goes. Um, the quality has been pretty good. Uh, Flavor-wise, I haven't had any complaints about either one as far as the flavors. Um, you know, the, the food's tasted fine. It's all been, you know, fresh. I haven't found any issues with any of the food um, up until this point. So, you know, that's kind of my take overall, my first impressions. You know, as far as meal plans, if you're looking at the quality of food, a slight tilt to fresh and lean. Fresh and lean does have more variety of meal plans. But Factor does give you better portions. The quality and flavor is pretty good. I don't end up having to season the food more. Um, and I just feel like with Factor, you get what you're told you're going to get. Whereas Fresh and Lean really kind of, you know, they upset me because I feel like with Fresh and Lean, you don't actually get what you're paying for um, in the meals. So uh, those are my overall thoughts. I hope, you know, that helps somebody who's looking to decide between one of these is kind of what to expect. Um, I wouldn't say that Fresh and Lean's a bad kind of uh, a, a bad idea, but um, again, for me, for my purposes, I wasn't looking for a snack. I wanted a meal replacement, and they just don't do that. Um, so anyway, if you've got any feedback or comments or questions or anything, feel free to leave them down below. Thanks.